Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man and I'm here at Audio Advice Live with Scott Noonan. Scott, you've got an incredible website with an incredible uh, builder for somebody's home theater. If you guys are wanting to design and kind of lay out what your room could look like, you've got some software on your website that they can add a projector, they can add the seating, they can add the dimensions of your room, projector, whether it's in walls or floor standing speakers. But here at Audio Advice Live, you've got some enhancements to that that I'm really excited. And so we're gonna walk you through what those are. So Scott, thanks so much for inviting us. Let's jump into this. Yeah, you bet, Michael. As you know, we launched this tool a couple of years ago in the pandemic. And we're just trying to make it more accessible for people. You know, maybe they couldn't afford to go pay a big expensive designer to do it. But today you're the first person to see uh, the behind the scenes of what we're about to announce, which we've added a lot of capability. Yeah, let's just show all your viewers, you know, how you would go into this. If you've got a bonus room or an attic or something, you're like, I wanna go make a theater. Just how quick and easy it is and we'll talk about some of these new things that you're the first guy to see oh, i'm excited okay so you see here first you can choose uh metrics if you're not in the united states and sure you know i know you got a bunch of people that watch overseas yeah, about half of my folks on the channel are watching they're from overseas so they can utilize this as well and that's great so you go in here and you set your depth and your width and your ceiling height you just set your room obviously not every single room is perfect sure. rectangular but you start to build it that way and we'll show you later what happens if it's a little bit different you then just hit next okay and it asks you how many seats do you want per row we'll just leave it at three how many rows of seats now you'll notice here this is where things get interesting when i click to go to two rows of seats two things just happen one it popped up seating riser height and seating riser depth. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so now what this does, if I go turn on, I can click this button and turn on the sight line. If I change my riser height and depth, watch what happens to the screen. It automatically does the calculation to make sure the rear people can see over the front people and puts the screen at the correct height. All right, Scott, so just this first feature is kind of game changer for me because when I was building my theater room, that was a huge struggle. Do I do a 10 inch riser? Do I do a 12 inch, a 14? And I literally was guessing. You know, and I know guys on my channel, they're like, hey, I just put little boxes and crates under there, or some plywood. And, and again, they're just trying to guess, but to be able to visually see this and to go, okay, I know that if I use this, then it's going to, oh, yeah, it's that is really time saver, mm -hmm. huge, and money, because if you install it in the wrong place or build your riser <laughs> the wrong way, that's a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money. I love that feature. What else you got? Yeah, I appreciate it. So now you can choose which row you want to be your primary. So let's okay. just choose the back row here, and you'll see uh, you can grab the seats and actually move them gotcha. with your mouse, or you can do it using the slider here. And sure. so what it's showing you is how far. Now, one of the comments we had historically was people like, while I'm working on this, maybe I've got a builder with mm -hmm. me, maybe I've got an electrician, I'm trying to figure out like, how far am I into that room and where is it? What you can do is click on this ruler button. Okay. When you do that, it will show you all the dimensions nice. of everything in the room. So you'll see as I look here, it's showing you how far it is to the front row, how far it is to the front riser, all the sides and everything in it. Yeah. Scott, I'm serious. I'm like smiling. Where was this 14 years ago? Man? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh, I could have so totally used this. And this you'll see fantastic. here, you see this? It's actually showing you, and yeah. this is going to change as we build this. It's showing you how far it is from the ceiling to the projector to right. be in the right location. And we actually, when you when you save this, we actually show you all the dimensions of everything, including okay. how long you need your pole to be. So you don't have to go calculate what pole do I need coming from the ceiling, all that kind of stuff. So your software is really helping to take the guesswork out of it. That's the goal. Or the trial and error. So many people have got this, this feeling like, man, I've sort of done it, I've sort of done it, I think it's right, I'm not sure, oh yeah. my gosh, if I get it wrong, like yeah. all this extra work. Sure. So we keep rolling down it. Um, you can choose your aisle position. You see you can choose left, right, or we can put on both sides. We can choose the size of the aisle, obviously, depending on your room. Then you just hit next. Wow. So now this is the part that is really cool that we didn't have before. Okay. When you click next, you can now choose your display. So I could do a flat panel or I could do a projector. But if you choose projector, you can now jump straight in here. And let's say we roll down here and we pick up a JVC and we say, well, what I want is I want the NZ8. Nice. You choose the actual projector okay. you want. Once we've done that, and by the way, you can jump out and see all the details on it. Sure. Now you can choose aspect ratio. Right. 69 to So let's do a 2.4 because okay. we want to watch. Yeah, I like scope. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that. Here. Now it's defaulted to 100 inches. Let's bring up the sizes. Watch what's happening to the projector in real time. It's calculating the throw distance so of the projector. It's having to back up because it's you... backing yeah. it up. 
So now we go down here, we calculate immersion level and we show it throughout the tool, there's these little uh, tech tips we provide. Okay. And they explain if you don't understand something. Sure. So what this is explaining is, what immersion level do you want? And what it turns out is, I'm just gonna bring this so up. So I like bit. immersive experience. I've got, I'm nine foot from 150 inch. Yeah, so you're, you really, <laughs> I saw you like, are you kidding you me? You love yeah. immersion. I do. So average immersion in here, when it turns green and goes to average, that is gotcha. the same as someone, because it's trying to describe to people, sure. what, what does that mean? Where do you that sit in the That is the theater? middle of a commercial theater. Yeah. So if you go to a commercial theater, you want to sit in the middle, yeah. you want average. Now, if you're a youth man, <laughs> You want to crank this little sucker up like this, yeah. and you're getting up uh, so, but somewhere. So that's great because it's showing, because I even had to go to a website and, and plug that in, and so they would give you a range of where you need to place the projector. This does everything, the design and those dimensions. Oh my god. Yeah, goodness, it's super cool. So, much so you here. see how now it's showing us we're at a higher immersion level. Yeah, sure. And it's showing us our viewing angle. We're now at a 45 yeah. degree viewing angle, so you can right. see all this while you do it. Sure. Can even choose border width. Right. Most people get really? four inch, but there's some stuff out there now where yeah, you might really, say, really my thin. gosh, yeah, I want a one inch border or something like that. So you can do that here. Now this gets really cool. Screen game. Wait a okay. minute. This gets really, it's been really it's cool. It's been really cool. This is fantastic. So yeah, as you know, most people are doing a 1.3. In, in a general room, people are at 1.3, so I'm going to set it there. Now what happens is we are calculating the throw distance real time. Okay. We're even showing you the ideal position of it to get the best because every, what we've done is we've taken every projector, brought it in our lab, mm -hmm. and we've tested the light output at every level. Because gotcha. someone will tell you, oh, I got this many lumens. Well, it turns out, depending on what um, kind of projector you have and what the lens is, right. as you back up, different projectors lose more and more light by the time they hit the screen. Sure. So what's happening here, if I turn it, you can see it's actually showing us, I'll shrink it a little bit on the screen, how far back you could go if you want to put it behind the room right. or if you had a bigger room and where it is here. Gotcha. Now you can grab that and projector. Everything's click and drag. I Let's love that. Let's say you had three rows and this was sitting right over yeah. the people in the row and Noisy. too much noise. Yeah. So you could move this and say, well, I'm not going to put it in the ideal and move it a little bit, but it'll make sure you don't put it in the wrong position. Gotcha. Wow. Okay, so now it also tells you, given where you've put the projector, the gain in the screen and size of the screen, what your nits are, and it will tell you if you're in spec for uh, HDR or not. No, stink away. Yeah, so if we dropped, for instance, to a, a less bright projector with a lot less lumens, yeah, yeah. this would now tell us at that throw distance, you, you've got to use a, a brighter projector. Man. So now I hit next. We're now in the last, amazingly, we're now in the fourth and last part. So but this is how fast more, you can do That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when you click next, we now do the audio. That's the last piece we did. Okay. Well, you can see for your front three speakers, you can do box, which is how they are now. But sure. let's do in wall because yeah. you and I want to install there's, them. There's right? a lot we're of guys that, that want that clean setup. Yeah. So you'll see it just now put them in the wall, but really we want to do a transparent screen, okay. let's say. So let's click yes. It's now going to move oh, them that's inside what I'm the screen. About. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's take a look. We've did, we're starting to get pretty close to design. I want to feel, does this feel the way I want it to? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the lights off in the room and we're going to sit in the main <laughs> viewing position, right? And let's turn off our sight lines. That's what it will look like from your position given everything we've just designed. So we've got a visual representation of the actual brightness Correct, with oh, a person's t uh, normal viewing pattern, sure. how much that will fill. Uh, so anyways, well, it, it's, it's obviously pretty cool there. And then we'll go back to the main view. So now, obviously you can put in your main surrounds. Let's go ahead and do these in wall, because yeah. we do the front ones, you could do box. If you choose to have main surrounds, mm -hmm. It will give you the option to add front wides, which is also brand new. Sure. That didn't exist before. So let's go ahead and put some front wall ends, uh, front wides. We have a, a calculation that I spent a bunch of time on where these wides go. As, as you probably know, there's big debate about whether you actually do a median no. angle and split the angle, or you, you, know, you do a line between the side speakers in the front. We're basically averaging those to a proprietary calculation Sorry, gotcha. that we think gives the best position here. Then you can go down to rears. Let's go ahead and put some rears in the wall as well. Choose your number of subs. Let's jump in here. You can choose number of Atmos. Let's go ahead and do four Atmos. And you see, literally at this point, everything, because there's nothing orange in here, right. it's all We're inspect. all ideal. We're good to go. We're inspect. Now, what I want to do is show you my favorite thing. This is the last piece of the puzzle to have built the entire thing. Okay. The greatest challenge we have when people call Audio Advice, guy's sitting out in Chicago, he's in LA, and he's designing his own theater, and he calls and he says, I don't really understand where all the speakers are going to go. If I want a really good... Um, main listening position, but I sort of want it good for the people around me, but sure. I'm not sure where I want it between. 
we have added this one slider here. It's the very last thing. Okay. It actually is only one simple slider. The math behind it is as tough as everything you've seen above it. Sure. It starts at everything being ideal for the primary seat. So you'll sure. remember we said it as the second row. Right. So that's main, the primary. Main position right in the middle. This is where the money seat is. If you sit over there, you may get like some nulls and lack of base and things like that. Exactly. Okay. And that's this seat right here. In fact, you can see it. The sides are just adjacent to them. We move the sides slightly up, which mm -hmm. Harmon does. Other people believe in doing as well. Okay. But it is designed perfectly for this position right now. Certainly. Everything is good. But what if I want to go, you know what? I want this to be pretty good up here. Because one of the problems I've got, if you take a look at this, yeah. My front atmos are behind the front, right. yeah, that's the front row. Yeah, sure. For the front guys. The rear guys, they get a great immersion. They're loving it. Yeah. But the front guys are going, wait a second, I'm here in the front atmos behind me. So now what we do, we start sliding this thing to the right. And as I slide it to the right, it, moves it begins to move it closer to be better for everyone else. Check that now out. what you want to do for most people, not yeah. everyone, yeah. for most people, they're going to pull it all the way until the point at watch what happens. Okay. See they turned orange? Yeah. So that's The no reason point they over. turned orange is it's now out of Dolby spec mm -hmm. for the main listening position. Gotcha. So you get right to where it turns orange. Let's back bring it, it backwards everyone. just a little bit and there's your spot. I that's love it. A vast majority of people are suddenly going to look at this design exactly sure. as you see it and that's it right there. And again, Scott, when I was designing mine, I had to like do mathematical equation. We didn't even have that, the phone app. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to figure out, okay, where do I put my Atmos to get them in those specs? Because a lot of it's about angles. That's right. Oh my All goodness. All this is doing the angle calculations. So this, the cool thing here is if you push save and view specs, yeah. it will produce where every seat should go, every riser, every speaker, the height, the position from the screen, and tell you your pole length, and everything you need to know about where the, the uh, screen and the projector go. So it's gotten pretty, we, obviously, I love this thing. It's oh, been a passion of mine. So I, you know, I don't want to over sort of play yeah. because my gosh, I've worked so much on this because I want to make it available, you know, it's for free on the website. Well, here's the interesting thing. What, what I'm seeing in this typically, you know, my viewers and myself would have to pay somebody 500 bucks or more to draw this up. And now they're getting access to this. So let's just say hypothetically, I draw up my room, I click save, like what's the next step? I mean, can you guys help me out? Um, if I'm local to you, do you do the installs? Do you do them out of state? From yeah, great at? question. So what happens is when you click save and view specs, mm -hmm. um, you now have access. You don't even have to create an uh, account or anything. You have access to save document with everything. Okay. You'll get an email. They'll give you the link to that. And in that email, we'll give you a link to schedule a free design session with our designers on the phone. So, you know, if you're near one of our stores, mm -hmm. most people come in the stores and talk to us about installing it. Yeah. If you're a DIY guy, you're like, I got an electrician. I can do this. or I want to do it with someone myself. Most people will take us up on those free things and they'll have, you know, some of our experts just jump on a session with them. They'll look at the design together, talk about things you might change. And then our ultimate goal is to help you design and build a great theater. We hope in the end you'll say, oh my gosh, Audio Vice got a price guarantee. They're super nice guys. They're great at helping me do it. They're going to help me set up and do my calibration with sure. some remote video viewing and they'll choose us to help buy the product from us. Yeah. But if they don't, we're cool with that too. That's we awesome. just want to help people build great theaters and, um, we think this will cause a lot of people to have better sound, better video, and uh, it's just a great experience. Well, Scott, I absolutely love this. Guys, I want you to let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite feature of this? I know they would love to get some feedback on that. There's a lot to digest in that, but go to their website, audioadvice.com, play with this design tool, see what it looks like in your room. Now, what you may find is when they start plugging in their stuff, maybe they're out of spec and you may have to move some speakers around or whatever, but I think that's great. Ultimately, we just want to help you provide the best sound that you can for your home theater. Well, Scott, this has been fantastic. Thanks, man. Michael. You bet. It's I'm, been a pleasure. Walking I'm excited there. about this event. We're going to be covering a lot during the, uh, the next three days, man, because this is really day one. So we're going to be uh, going into different rooms, hearing different setups, and hopefully this type of content will be a blessing to you. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think about this new features in the design tool. And as always, you guys be blessed. And we'll catch you in the next video.